The region round is in the books and the frozen face-off field is set. Frozen four, I should say. The Minnesota Gophers are heading to Tampa after winning the West region here in Fargo over the weekend. It's a stage that the Gophers are fairly familiar with. Minnesota punched their ticket to Tampa with their 4-1 to one win over the St. Cloud State Huskies on Saturday. The top-seeded Gophers dominated the ice at Shields Arena this weekend, outscoring their opponents 13-3 to three in their two games. They now head back to the Frozen Four for the second consecutive season. Although this year they hope for a different result. Last year they were ousted in the semifinals by Minnesota State. These players hope that they, that, that experience will help them as they head back for more at the Frozen Four. Uh, we're definitely very excited. Um, it's been a goal of ours all year to get there and you know we were there last year and we got a taste of it and um, you know I think we got a better idea of the compete level and and the intensity it's going to take going in there. So we're very excited and we're excited to start preparing and get down to Florida. This is the first time that the Gophers have secured back to back frozen four appearances since 2002 and 2003. That 2003 appearance was also the last time they won the national championship. They play the Boston Terriers on Thursday. And two more North Dakota hockey players inked pro contracts today, both with the AHL. Chris Jandrick signed a professional tryout agreement with the Rochester Americans, an affiliate of the Buffalo Sabres. Jandrick immediately became a key contributor for, the Nor for North Dakota after transferring in from the University of Alaska in 2021. He was named all NCHC after leading all conference defensemen with 21 points in 24 games of league play. His fellow blue liner Ryan Sidorsky also inked to deal with the Milwaukee Admirals, an affiliate with the Nashville Predators. The grad transfer from Union had his best offensive season this year, finishing with a career-high nine assists. So more big new moves for North Dakota hockey players, more defensemen moving on. They're going to have an entire different crew of defensemen next year. So be a whole it'll, be, uh, it'll be quite the challenge. Forwards, they're set. Defensemen, <laughs> they got to start recruiting. Can't have it all. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, fair enough. Let's head back to Hutch for a last look at weather, Hutch. You know, good weather to get some more outdoor ice in uh, as we have some cold taking hold. Have the Valley News Live weather app handy for road conditions. Tomorrow, wind and fluffy, flaky snow will be blowing around. Following the snow, many of who will see two inches along the track of the snow, some as many as four inches, a lot of wind blowing snow. That'll be followed up by cold after the snow. Uh, near record setting cold, as a matter of fact, Wednesday. Then we're talking about more snow Thursday, Friday. A little break for the week. You get the picture. Spring has to come eventually, right? Our North Coast team started their spring practices last week. Good luck to them. <laughs> <laughs> see you at 10. Closed captioning is brought to you by Menards. This time of year has many different names.